22151 Sycamore Lane. I can't believe they got me through this. Shouldn't be much further. Quit distracting me by flipping your hair. Oh, come on. But if you were so busy checking me out, you could help me find the place. How long is this assignment? Oh, what's, what's yep. the number? No, nope, this is good. One, four, five. This is the right address. Yeah. I got the feeling you were checking me out. Sneaking peeks at my chest like I wouldn't notice. You noticed? Well, not until you started drooling. Well, let's get this show on the road. Remember, we're supposed to be a newlywed couple. Madly in love. Can't keep our hands off each other. Listen, Deputy Martell. Vince. That bad boy charm doesn't work on me. The next time you so much as try to touch me, it's gonna take you and 50 baboons like you to keep me from stomping you into a greasy spot. A pathetic little puddle on the pavement that even puke-sucking vultures wouldn't want to touch. Ouch. Our first lover's quarrel. Ugh. Enough already. Captain. Captain Frank. Look, I'll give it to you guys straight. Both of you screwed up. I had to pull some major strings to get you this assignment. The director wanted to can you. What'd you do? He wanted to can both of you. I broke a guy's arm on the way to court. And? He had a couple of his ribs. What'd you do? I had sex with a flight attendant. In the 
the airplane lavatory. And? Well, I was supposed to be guarding the prisoner I was escorting. And? It was two flight attendants. Okay, confession time's over. You guys are on the witness protection program. You'll be surveilling and providing covert security. Captain, you're kidding, right? Does it look like I'm kidding? I know babysitter. Vince, you need a babysitter. I have one. You. Oh. Look, you're going to need to get to know your clients intimately. Marco Tondino. He lives across the street. A mob enforcer. A real go-to guy for the family. Turned state's witness. He's definitely one guy you don't want on your bad side. Come on, guys. Not again. Grandma's house. Don't let the grandma look fool you. It's Jersey Gertie. Her baked goodies look delightful, but they pack one hell of a punch. Sweetened with a little strychnine or rat poison, mafioso rivals were whacked with heartburn. She thought it would be better to testify for the prosecution rather than miss out on her weekly canasta parties. Good luck. Be safe. Oh, and one other thing? Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs>